This error appears when Excel does not recognize the text in a formula that we just entered, meaning that we've tried to enter a formula but somehow we've spelled its name wrong and now we have a typo in our spreadsheet. And given that this is a syntax error, all we have to do to correct it is to correct the typo that we just made. Whenever Excel is showing us this name, you have to think about a formula that you've entered and you put its name wrong in the formula bar. And in my case, right here in my example, I'm a student and I want to count how many times I got a maximum grade on my exams. I have my grades right here and I've tried to do a count if over here, but seeing that I don't have the value and I have the name error shown, this means that I've misspelled my formula name. And if I look closely, instead of writing count if with a single I, I wrote count if with two I's. And name is Excel's way of telling me that the formula name that I've entered is incorrect. And to correct it, all I have to do is delete one I, hit enter, and I've managed to solve the error. To avoid this error in the future, if you're not sure about the formula name, you can use the formula wizard over here. If you click on it, it will show you this box right here where you can search for a formula that you would like to use. If you're not sure about its name, I will write count if, click go, and I will have the results right here. I will select count if. Now we have two boxes right here, the range and the criteria. The range is still from A2 to A11, those are my grades, and this time maybe I want to calculate how many 7s I've got, and I'm gonna hit 7, I'm gonna hit enter, and now the formula has been applied correctly, and using the wizard I'm sure that I don't make any spelling mistakes. That's it, this is how you solve the name error, and this is what causes it, if you've learned something new please hit the like button and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.